I think in today's environment, you simply do not understand macroeconomics if you think bridge loans are bad. Right today, the worst. I've created a new strategy. It is called War Chest. It is a four step strategy on what the heck you should do when a recession begins. That I think is the most powerful of all the strategies because the biggest mistake that multifamily people make is when a recession starts, they do the same things that they were doing in a good economy. No, you're actually shooting yourself in the foot. The vast majority of those things are bad, right? We talk about rehabbing units and increasing rents, correct? Mm -hmm. But here's the problem. If you were to simply clean up the unit and rent it the next day, the unit's down for two days. If you're rehabbing it, it's down for four weeks. We're well, not going to get any value for that money during a recession because there's a million units open to that tenant. So he's not going to pay you this delta. So the worst thing that you could do is rehab units in a recession. But that's what we saw last time. The war chest strategy has four pieces. And one of them is stop all rehabs. Right? So watch that strategy. The key is to basically know how to get through a recession. Bottom line. And then the last piece is bridge loans. A lot of people think bridge loans are bad. I think in today's environment, you simply do not understand macroeconomics if you think bridge loans are bad, right? Today, the worst kind of loan is a 10 year fixed. Absolutely a horrible loan because the world environment doesn't allow interest rates to rise. And, and then you have po you know, populist politicians like Trump who are asking for 0% interest rates. Please Google Trump asks for 0% interest rates. Is he the only one? No. The guy in the Philippines that's like him has asked for it. The guy that just got elected in England is a populist um, PM. And they're all asking. They're all saying, let's just, let's just keep taking interest rates down because it, it keeps making the asset bubble party bigger. So today, the macro environment doesn't really allow for interest rates to go up. If that's the case, why the heck are you doing 10-year fixed? You're really hurting your investors. Very interesting. Very interesting. There's a lot there, but there's a couple questions. You mentioned Cara uh, Kennedy had a question. Assuming your commercial multifamily is leveraged conservatively, is there validity to the statement that as long as you can handle reduced market rent rates, that multifamily investments are more stable than single family homes? Um, so the way your statement is written, Cara, assuming your commercial multifamily is leveraged conservatively, the answer is